this uh, uh, so first thing is whenever any muscle is asked you should first check whether the muscle has been asked from the front aspect or posterior aspect that is anterior or posterior aspect and we should check whether it is uh, from the lateral side or medial side so whenever yes, the muscles of arm is asked there is no issue of medial or lateral side only thing we have to confirm yes. whether it is of front or back aspect or anterior or posterior aspect so in the arm most yes. commonly asked muscle is biceps brachii so prepare the yes, biceps brachii thoroughly in some cases biceps brachii it has been removed to show the musculocutaneous nerve and it has been uh, detached from one or either end so the next muscle yes. that we can see it is brachialis no, no, no not coraco brachialis coraco brachialis is most of the time severed muscle it is not intact because yes. uh, of the pulling of the hands while putting in the cadaver tank the muscle gets severed so muscle left intact in the upper extremity in the arm region these are biceps brachii and brachialis so prepare these muscles origin insertion thoroughly and you can have coraco brachialis later on then in the back of the arm we should have uh, triceps because triceps is intact there is no damage to the triceps so three muscles are most important three muscles are one is biceps brachii brachialis and triceps brachii coraco brachialis you have to of the arm ठीक है so any muscle which is crossing the elbow joint it will be either biceps brachii or brachialis so this is the catch next thing we'll go to the forearm so the examiner it is not uh, he is not having uh, so much time to ask the deeper muscles he will ask only the superficial muscles so whenever we are uh, preparing the front of forearm muscles initially go for the superficial muscles of front of forearm most of the time mm-hmm. superficial muscles of front of forearm these are asked so pronator teres then palmaris longus flexor carpi radialis flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum superficialis mm-hmm. out of these out of these most commonly asked muscles these are flexor carpi radialis these are better are arising from medial aspect and going to the lateral aspect mm-hmm. okay so mm-hmm. all these muscles flexor muscles they will be arising from the common flexor origin okay superficial better. flexor muscles they are arising from common flexor origin so what we should carefully note that the origin and insertion of the muscles the muscle that is arising from the common flexor origin that is medial epicondyle and going towards the lateral side is flexor carpi radialis and the Radial. muscle which is arising from common flexor origin and going towards the medial side it will be flexor carpi ulnaris mm-hmm. okay palmaris longus uh, it is most of the times cut to show the deeper structures so whenever you see four tendons going towards the hand these are digitorum muscles mm-hmm. okay yeah. so superficial plane mein jo फोर टेंडन दिखेंगे आपको दे विल बी ऑफ फ्लेक्सर डिजिटोरम सुपरफिशियल यहाँ पे तीन मसल्स हमारे हैं फ्लेक्सर कार्पा रेडियलिस फ्लेक्सर कार्पा और फ्लेक्सर डिजिटोरम सुपरफिशियल ठीक है और एक मसल मोस्ट कॉमनली पूछी जाती है जो है ब्रेकियो रेडियलिस ब्रेकियो रेडियलिस और फ्लेक्सर कार्पा रेडियलिस इन दोनों में कंफ्यूजन ना हो इसलिए हमें दो चीजें याद रखनी है Brachial radialis it will be arising from the lateral side and it will go on the lateral side, whereas flexor carpi radialis it will arise from the medial, that is a common flexor origin and it will go on the lateral side. Yeah. Both the muscles they will go on the lateral side but their origin is different. One is arising from the lateral aspect, one is arising from the medial aspect. So this is the yeah. difference yes, between these two muscles. Okay. So whenever yeah. examiner asks you brachial radialis and flexor carpi radialis, he want to know whether you are having in depth knowledge about the origin of these two muscles, common flexor origin and common 
extensor origin extensor origin ana yes sir yes another another thing that you should uh, remember it is the uh, brachioradialis it is the muscle of extensor compartment yes sir are you getting this the brachioradialis it is the muscle of extensor yes, compartment right, right. which is which has appeared in the flexor compartment for functional reasons so whenever brachioradialis is asked you are the you will get a question for its nerve supply so one has to remember the nerve supply that is radial nerve radial. brachioradialis it is supplied by radial nerve radial okay and the radial nerve it supplies before giving the posterior interosseous nerve so rest of the muscles yes. of the extensor compartment of forearm they will be supplied by the posterior interosseous nerve okay. but certain muscles like brachioradialis they will be supplied by the uh, radial nerve proper before giving the posterior interosseous nerve okay yeah. so i think uh, this much is sufficient to rapid revision of the front of the forearm muscles then in the hand you will uh, rarely you will get a question about the lumbricals and interosseous nerve because they are not seen so you can expect the only theoretical question okay then you have to have knowledge about arteries and nerves most commonly seen nerve it is median nerve which is left intact okay rest of the nerves they, they are having different course radial nerve it is not that much commonly seen in the specimen of upper extremity most commonly seen nerve is median nerve and it forms a content of pubertal fossa also so revise the content of pubertal fossa and see uh, whether you will be able to enumerate them from medial to lateral or lateral to medial okay when we go medial to lateral it is median nerve then it will be brachial artery okay. tendon of basis okay. brachii and the radial nerve it will be just appearing between the brachialis and brachioradialis yeah so if asked about the posterior compartment posterior compartment mainly three muscles they will be asked which are forming anatomical snuff box so prepare yes, these three muscles thoroughly so anatomical snuff box first two muscles on the lateral aspect which are seen these are abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis and medially it will be extensor pollicis longus okay so always press for their uh, insertions always look for their insertions extensor pollicis longus it will be most long muscle out of these three muscles okay and it is uh, alone so both these muscles abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis they will they are going together whereas extensor pollicis longus it is uh, going alone and in the extensor compartment of forearm we are getting extensor digitorum mainly extensor digitorum you will get these muscles are going uh, at the digits okay extensor digitorum yeah. for the index yeah. finger we are having extend okay. for the index finger we are having extensor indices and on the little finger we are having extensor digiti minimum okay. so you may expect a question on dorsal digital expansion so what is dorsal digital expansion and what are the muscles attached to the dorsal digital expansion you may get a question sometimes next yes, question sir. you should expect that is the compartment wise nerve supply so to be begin with the pectoral region we should know the medial and lateral pectoral nerve then for, for subclavius we are having nerve to subclavius for serratus anterior we are having long thoracic nerve or nerve to serratus anterior in the scapular region muscles in the scapular region muscles if the scapula is intact in your specimen in your college then most of the times along the medial border you can see the serratus anterior muscle and underneath the serratus anterior muscle there is subscapularis so serratus anterior it will be only attached to the medial border it will not attach to the entire scapula so if you find muscle attached to the entire scapula and to the costal surface it will be subscapularis okay this is a differentiating feature between the serratus anterior and subscapularis muscle okay subscapularis nerve supply is upper and lower subscapular nerve 
and and then next question you will get about the teres major so once you tell the nerve supply of subscapularis next question you should expect about the teres major teres major it will be supplied by again lower subscapular nerve and once you have answered about the teres major you will expect uh, you should expect next question about the teres minor which is supplied by axillary yes yeah, it is supplied by axillary okay so the teres minor along with the deltoid it is supplied by the axillary so this is how we should revise the scapular region muscles next we will move to the any muscle as from the front of the arm any muscle as from the front of the arm we should uh, answer that is it is supplied by musculocutaneous nerve and if asked particularly about the brachialis muscle we should remember the mnemonic mr brachialis that is musculocutaneous and radial nerve which is proprioceptive to the brachialis yes so i hope this is audible ah yes sir yes sir you are audible yes yes can anyone just answer yes 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 you are audible yes yes sir yes. so okay. okay so so let us now go to the front of the arm and back of the arm so front of the arm yeah. five superficial muscles they will be supplied by the median nerve and in the deep muscles mm -hmm. we are having the anterior interosseous nerve and the medial half which will be supplied by the medial half will be supplied by the anterior intro uh, sorry the ulnar nerve okay ulnar nerve yeah. so three muscles that is flexor pollicis longus flexor digitorum profundus that is its lateral half and pronator quadratus they will be supplied by anterior interosseous nerve and the yes. medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus and flexor carpi ulnaris they will be supplied by the ulnar nerve Alnar. so one and half muscle yes. in the front of forearm it will be supplied by the ulnar nerve and remaining muscle they will be supplied by median nerve and its branches yes. and we have already discussed brachioradialis it will be supplied by radial nerve radial nerve okay. posterior compartment mm -hmm. we are having the muscles all muscles which are supplied by the posterior okay. interosseous okay. nerve posterior yeah. interosseous nerve okay. and superficial radial nerve so if you get a question about the superficial radial nerve the superficial radial nerve which will be accompanying the radial artery in the front of the forearm it is a uh, pure sensory so it is going to supply the dorsum of the hand okay the dorsum of the hand okay the lateral 3 and 1/2 digits skin over the lateral 3 and 1/2 digits it will supply so we have completed the front and back of the forearm now we'll yes. move to the hand if you get a question on the hand you will get uh, if it is well dissected then two questions they are bound to ask that is the insertions of flexor digitorum profundus and insertions of flexor digitorum superficialis okay so we should uh, thoroughly revise these two muscles flexor digitorum profundus and flexor digitorum superficialis and their insertions to to briefly we will discuss their insertions flexor digitorum superficialis it inserts on the sides of the middle phalanx and flexor yes, digitorum profundus it is inserted at the base of the distal phalanx okay yes, another thing about the flexor digitorum profundus that you should remember that it gives origin to the lumbrical muscles the tendons of flexor okay. digitorum profundus it gives origin to the lumbrical muscles yes, okay. so lumbricals yes, not uh, that much easily seen these are worm like muscles so it needs a very clean and neat dissection to show the lumbricals okay so yes, prepare lumbricals also and remember all the intrinsic muscles mostly supplied by ulnar nerve except the thinar muscles except the mm -hmm. thinar muscles thinar. which are supplied by the median, median nerve. nerve 
the thin arm muscles which are supplied by median nerve and the one and uh, sorry the two lumbricals okay the lateral two lumbricals they will be supplied by the anterior and tracheus nerve theek hai theek hai the median nerve theek hai the two lumbrical they will be supplied by median nerve and remaining all muscles that is the medial two lumbricals then hypothenar muscles palmaris brevis theek hai and adductor pollicis and adductor pollicis so one question that i uh, preferably ask that is what is the nerve supply of adductor pollicis so adductor pollicis most of the students think it is going towards the lateral aspect it is going towards the thumb so it should be supplied by median nerve but it is not the yes. case adductor pollicis muscle it is considered as graveyard of the ulnar nerve and the ulnar nerve supplies adductor pollicis so this is a very important question in yes. your entrance exam also and in the viva also okay mm -hmm. so i think i have covered most of the part of uh, upper limb upper limb okay yes, and always always confirm the front and back looking at the nails on the digits okay looking at the olecranon process always look at the thumb and the little finger to confirm between the medial and lateral okay so yes. these are few important things you should remember while preparing for the upper extremity